What did you think about the 21 Savage arrest? I mean, he got arrested on the day of the Super Bowl. Yeah, I thought that Uh, was crazy. I mean, mean, because he was getting woke and he was, I don't know, that that whole situation is He got arrested by ICE. Um, Yeah. Allegedly, he's been over here since 2004. But he was on a late show like a week before talking about he changed the, he changed that, the lyrics to a song talking about it was, and he was talking about immigration on the late I thought, show. I thought on the song a lot, he was already talking about it. No, but he changed his words. If he said something, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was something towards if I had, he said, Flint still ain't got no water. And he's saying, uh, I'm glad, I, I don't know how I feel something if my kids were at the border, stuck at the border, something like that. But yeah, he, and a week later, he was, ice came and grabbed him. Well, apparently, I did, what we didn't know was he's never been. He's never done a tour outside the country. So, apparently, he came over here in two thousand four. Um, now, ICE is saying that he came over here. That's U.S. Custom Immigration. They saying that he came over here at age seven. His team is saying he came over here at age fourteen. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's conflicting reports on that. And apparently, his visa expired, and he put in to get his visa renewed, but it just been chilling. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just been a process. So he, I guess he kind of was following the guidelines. Like, he never went out the country. He, you know, he's been Of course a, he won't go out the country because I ain't sure if he's coming back. He was sure, He was never sure he was going to come back, I guess, apparently. Yeah, so he ain't going out the country. Yeah. So it did seem, like, convenient, you know. And, I mean, he was in Atlanta. It was Super Bowl. They were hot. I just feel like arresting 21 Savage, I don't know what that necessarily proved, but it seemed a little bit convenient that you arrest him at the, like you said, he changed the lyrics. And then the State of the Union was Monday, and the whole theme of the State of the Union was about immigration. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't like to sometimes think that things are what they are. Sometimes I'm one of those people that when things are right in front of me, I, I kind of look around it, unfortunately. But sometimes things are exactly what they claim to be. Because I'm thinking, like, 21 Savage ain't nobody on that level to get their attention to want to make an example of. But maybe he is. Mm-hmm. And I just never thought about it like that. You know, maybe. Yeah, he- your girl Tammy Roman definitely thought about it. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What did she say in in uh, uh, agents, ICE agents at your door? ICE agents yeah, at your door. Yeah, it was a few people who had the jokes. Um, Demi um, Lovato was talking about how the the memes had her laughing, and people were getting at her because of the contradiction because she just she's, had a drug she's overdose. He, he, she just had a drug yeah, overdose. Yeah, you, want, you ain't wanted to be funny, and everybody's talking about you was a junkie. Yeah, yeah, they ran her off Twitter for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so people had the jokes. and They had the whole right with the feather. You know what I mean? Saying he's from, because, you know, kind of finally he was born in London, but some people are saying he's born in on an island that was under British rule. But ICE is saying that, no, he was officially born in London. And they're making that difference. Well, so, Dominica, the island is under British rule. That's it is, from. but no, but, and then the reports from ICE is saying, no, we're, they're clarifying, no, he was born in London. Mm. So, you know, my thing is, I think I've read somewhere, I think I read in Rolling Stone that there were always rumors that he was from another um, country on Twitter, but the rumors never stuck. But my thing is, nobody never went to school with 21 to tell us this. Like, I, I feel like... I mean, he went to high school in Atlanta. I feel like, but I feel like him coming up, like, we've all known that, take, for example, old school rapper Slick Rick, we've always known Slick Rick was from another country. Why is it we didn't know that with 21 Savage, like, publicly? Why is it just hitting us new? Like, how come we didn't know that? Because he repped Atlanta so hard. Does that make him a hypocrite? That's what somebody asked me. No, because technically where you're from is where you, most of the times where you went to high school at. Okay. That's where you really came into your own and became yourself. And that's where you mature into a young man. That's where he did most of his dirt. I mean, come on now. He, he They wasn't deporting him when he pulled a gun on the teacher. They wasn't deporting him when he had drug charges. So well, why see, are you deporting him now? To your point, here's the part that's a little bit scary with 21. And shout out to Jay-Z because he apparently got one of his lawyers to help him out. But here's the part that's a little bit scary. On one end, you can look at 21 Savage. You can look at all the good things he's done because mm-hmm. he we talked about on the show. He's done He does like a charity every single year for books for kids. Yeah, and he, was changing, he's been a, he was turning the corner. He was like changing everything. But he's been but he's been doing that for a few a couple years now since he's been out. Like it didn't take him long since he's came on the mainstream stage. And my thing is, with 21 doing those things, you can look at that and say he's been a model citizen. He's a father of multiple children and, and these of that nature. His kids are citizens. His kids were born His here. kids are citizens. But then on the reverse side, you can bring up all the stuff that you just said. You can bring up his past, I guess, alleged crimes that he's done. You but there's also kick him out then, though. But there's also a report that said that he apparently has no priors. Mm. So maybe he was lying about some of the stuff that he's done. 
because his lawyers are trying to say he ain't had no prize. He ain't got no. He ain't got no criminal record. Oh, so you think he Takashi six nine? So I'm. That's my question. I think this situation is going to be a little bit until we hear from him. This situation is going to be a little bit deeper than I guess we know. Because I'm trying to really figure out how is it we went this long with 21 not knowing none of this. We've known so much about him, but we ain't, we knew he's Amber. We knew everything else, but we ain't know nothing about this. Mm. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So I think a lot more is going to come out of this than we are led to believe. But I do respect the fact that Hope was pitching in because I think this is going. I think this is above twenty one status. Twenty one Savage's status definitely is above his pockets. <laughs> it's just like this is a big homie call if I yeah, ever seen one. It's above his pockets, much most, most definitely, most definitely above his pockets. So need some bread. Yeah. So you know, hopefully things will work out for him. But you know, when it comes to the U.S. government and things of this nature, they can keep you inside for a very long time before you even have trial. So I hope this is not going to be one of those situations because we need to hear his voice. We need to hear what's going on. Cause that's the first question I want to know. Yo, bro, what's going on?